Hello everybody, welcome to the CNA game between uh, Wolfbark and Thomas T. It's the final match of uh, our group, um, England versus rest of Europe, is it? Europe United, something like that. In the booth with me is Chunter, Dimmy and Rick. Hello. 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 Brilliant. <laughs> Rick's captain yeah, of just... Team England, Chunter's cap captain of Team Europe. That's good, isn't it? I was just yeah. saying that um, Rick. So Wolfbark is playing Rick's team, is it? It's exactly the same team, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's got yeah. to be. Yeah. You, it, nobody, technically speaking, people don't have teams, right? You could entirely swap who plays what team every round, but of course that doesn't really make any sense because it makes far more sense to let somebody build a team how they'd like to play it, and then let them play it every round, and they're kind of they've got their eye in with that team then, of course. But but technically speaking, yeah, anybody could play any team on the. Uh, uh, in, in any of the nations. True, true, very true. Um, I like this matchup in particular for us just generally, you know, because I feel like, you know, Thomas T being the specialist he is, um, you know, knowing knowing both the, the race he's playing and the race he's facing could be an advantage for him. So, like, I, I felt like, well, maybe this could be helpful for them. Um, I, I was just trying to maximize the odds for him to actually, you know, get either a draw or a win. Outside of the context of CNA, um, obviously, if you stream enough, you end up talking about everybody at some point, right? I, I, I've said about Thomas T a few times that I've been really impressed at how he's improved his game. Uh, he, he's obviously been like a, a, a really decent coach for years. So this is why it kind of stood out to me, right? Because it's very, very easy to be like, I don't know, Chalice first or second round level and then just stay there permanently. But I've actually noticed in the last year or more that, uh, that Thomas T's actually gone beyond the level that he was at, which was already decent. So, uh, yeah, I, uh, and, and obviously he's a Dark Elf specialist. So, yeah, really, but, and then obviously Wolfbox amazing, but really interested to see how, uh, how this, this plays out. I'm, I'm ashamed to see that uh, Thomas T's gone for a slightly rowdier build than me, which I really like. He's gone with a Leap Witch, <laughs> as opposed to my bog-standard conservative sidestep. So, so hats off to him there. What might be crucial in this match is he's got the second tackle, hasn't he? He's got two, two tackle on his team, whereas uh, there is only one tackle. For Wolfbark, he has got the he has got the wrestle which I oh know they've both got wrestle which is okay. So yeah, yeah, I think that, yeah, that what, might what have be we key got right instead of the, the oh tackle. we've got sure hands we've got sure hands instead of the uh, the tackle. Okay, yeah, but, but then then yeah. maybe the sure hands helps. Who, who you know? Yeah, it's less likely to be impactful I think than the extra tackle. I think for this matchup, I think you know obviously if it was against wood if it was against wood elves, you'd quite like having the sure hands, wouldn't you? I just don't think it's going to make that much difference. Yeah, or, or non-dodge teams, teams you'd rather have the sure hands. But you, yeah, yeah, I think you're right. Again, this particular matchup, yeah, you'd probably choose the tackle. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and been like if we got like orcs into this or whatever, then the two tackle looks terrible, doesn't it? <laughs> regarding your comments about Thomas T, like he's feeling the same way. Like I've I've, I've DM'd a bit with him and I've talked a bit with him, and you know, like he um he's he's been looking to go towards that newer level, that higher level of blood ball, and um you know he he's 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 trying to get there. He's trying to his very best, and it's 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 it's, sure, it's starting to show. So that's that's amazing. Also about Roof Park, of course. Um, one of the legends in in, in, in Blobbo, I would imagine. One of the of the guys that you know people don't really look at that much in general because he is a guy that you know doesn't. I, I, I've said this on my stream before as well. He's not really a character. He is a guy that you know is a bit in the in the shadows personality wise. You, you don't see him a lot there, but he is one of the best coaches around in my in my imagination. Like one of the best coaches around. Champion with Undead on CCL. Um, been one of my teammates in, uh, in clan as well, which you know we, we basically dominated for two seasons. Um, I think he, he plays a very strict, strong game and, and positionally solid. So it's going to be really difficult for Thomas to um, to break break past that. Does um what race did Wolfbart win Chalice with? Does do any... dead. Jorves. That I think. Was no, it right? was Jorves. It was, it was Chorves. Yeah, it was Chorves. Uh, it was Clawless Chorves, wasn't it? It was Clawless Chorves. Yeah. yeah. No, I see that. I, that I just repeated Chunter, but yeah, it was. Yeah, it was Clawless Chorves. It was a terrible team. It was appalling. It was he had like Addy no chance of winning. He just did brilliant. He was just brilliant. He, he, yeah, like uh, you say, he's an absolute legend of Blood Bowl, and he's yeah. so unassuming and so modest. So yeah, it's easy to when you're talking about the greatest Blood Bowl players in Blood Bowl Two, it's easy to forget Wolfbart because he just exactly. will never toot his own horn or, like you say, raise his voice or anything. But he is absolutely up there with the very, very best. He's a phenomenal Blood Bowl player. 
Absolutely, absolutely, and and I, I did say I did say on that because that's the that's his trademark race usually. Like yeah. He usually plays yeah. Invert, um, although he plays a wide variety of races as well. But um, yeah. I was gonna say the only edge thing that I've really seen him on is Skaven. Like I don't, I've never seen him play an elf race. I don't think. But I, I mean, obviously he has done, and obviously like, but like I'd say like, he, I don't know how much Dark yeah. Elves played. He started. He started. He started playing Skaven in, in Rebel. Um, he kind of got, you know, I, I don't know if he got, if, if inspired is the right word, but he saw me playing in Rebel with Skaven and he was like, well, I want to try something new as well and let's pick up Skaven as well. And next thing I knew, like, he was in the top division with me. Ah. <laughs> so, like, you know, that says enough. The guy is really good with, uh, with whatever, whatever he does. And, um, yeah, it's, um, it's, it's been a pleasure working with him also in the whole clan thing. And, I know he is actually a really good halfling coach as well, which is mad. Yeah. <laughs> I think it yeah. was uh, Blitzpit that Wolfbark won with Undead, by the way. Ah, yes, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Especially with minute turns. I think... Did he... Yeah, he was in the crazy final against k With That was with Chorfs. Oh, no, maybe no, maybe he won Blitzpit with Chorfs as well because he, he beat me round one. No, he did, sorry. <laughs> yeah, he, he, I, think he won that. I think he won that with Chorfs. Did maybe... he beat k in the final with Chorfs? This is a disaster. I think yeah, Chaos Dwarves, there you go. Shani, yeah. Shani, yeah. <laughs> Shani, I appreciate that. Shani says he's, he was just a really kind soul to me, just giving me the draw uh, yesterday. <laughs> like, I, do, I do appreciate that. I, I hope your team appreciate it as well when they get eliminated by half a point in the, in the, in the playoffs. <laughs> half but I do appreciate it, maybe. Like for, yeah, with a draw instead of a win. So well. who is who is England's next opponent? Is it? Well, it might be nobody. Um, uh, it, yeah. <laughs> oh, really? If we lose, Actually. we're almost certainly out. I think. If we, well, no, we've got a good chance to be eliminated with a loss. If it's if this match is a draw, then there's a good chance of a playoff, um, like a, a playoff shootout with somebody. Which I don't really know how it works, but there is a chance of like a playoff with, with another team. And if it's if it's a win, we're definitely through. So, so Rick subbed himself out on the game dis <laughs> decided Classic, whether or not you, you qualify. He gave oh us all the rousing God. speech. He said, he said, we do not let this slip. <laughs> and then rather than falling over, he just subbed himself out. Rick? I, I'd that. like to point out that like, I, I've made the best strategic decision in all of CNA. I, I agree, I've, yeah. I've dropped myself for a better coach. So, you know, <laughs> I... <laughs> This is this is genius right here. That, that is hilarious as well as genius. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I had absolutely no idea. The shed, when, once when I because I, I I had loads on and I wasn't I wasn't feeling so great. So when I when I asked Wolfbark to step in and and obviously I was aware just how ridiculously good Wolfbark is. So I didn't feel bad about you know asking him to play around at all. But yeah, I was uh, I I didn't know the scheduling and I didn't know how the other matches would go. So yeah, the fact that it's turned out to be the decider <laughs> is uh, yeah is a, is a funny aside. It's yeah. brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. <laughs> it's in shades of Rick leaving Jimmy um, at, <laughs> to, like, you know, when, at, at the Blitz Pit final when he <laughs> just left Jimmy in the lurch. Like, it's just, it's, it happens a lot, doesn't it? <laughs> the dice left yeah. me in the lurch this tournament. I mean... Some rubbish dice, really. I th I think you know. No disrespect, of course. To was it Chu Blank, was it? And uh, Mo Plovac, who obviously did play, both played great. And uh, but it just felt pretty pretty bad for me both times. And I think you know, if if the dice go like that, one of these ways they're going to win, aren't they? You know, like yeah. Uh, yeah. No one's good enough to to overcome a, a decently big dice hurdle, really. You know, like not That's even if even if somebody's better than the other one in this in these tournaments that's the thing no 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 offense to shawnee but i feel exactly the same way about that uh, no, i'm just just kidding <laughs> just yeah just no it's right no it's right it's right you couldn't have won that game like just yeah. nobody on earth could have won that game nobody on earth is better enough better than shawnee enough to win with those dice yeah it's just it, it just that person doesn't exist maybe if if you know there was a reason for magnus Carlson, oh, is that his name? To play a blood ball to a ridiculously high level, maybe he would be, but there's nobody that's actually there, is there? No one is that much better than Shawnee that they could win with those dice. No way. Yeah, absolutely. Like Shawnee, like that's the thing. Like if Shawnee gets an advantage somewhere, he knows how to um, to maximize it at his at his at his, at his most right. Like, and it's just really impossible to react on that. And uh, you know, having a thing like a one turn or like that, it's just just a bit of a. Of a, of, a, of, a, of a safety for me to just, you know, 
launch out of that situation. That's why I also was so tempted to score early on my drive because, you know, it was already starting to look horrible again at at, yeah. uh, at the second half. And I, I, you know, I know how he how he plays on that. So I got to I got to make that decision quickly and say like, well, I rather just press the eject button now <laughs> rather than just sticking in this and trying to win this and turning uh, turning this into a loss. Yeah, for that's, sure. That's the that was the right decision to score. Then I I, I liked scoring then as well. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's the thing, and, and you know, like um, maybe versus another coach, maybe versus another coach, I would have stuck in a little bit longer, but absolutely not versus Sean. Yeah. Can you can you just clear up a little bit of confusion for me? So when you're talking about Shawnee, you're talking about Cine. <laughs> yeah, Cine. <laughs> I'm I'm talking about Shawman TV, so check him out uh, <laughs> whenever you can. <laughs> Sony, Sony. Oh dear. Yeah, Shawman TV. Fun, funnily enough, kind of thing with Thomas T, isn't it? He played Rebel for a long time, and I think maybe that's why he was at at that level. You know, because he was, you know, he was mostly just Rebel, and then when he started playing CCL more, that's maybe that's why his players elevated by playing more, isn't it? Right? You know, if you play, yeah. if you play I, once a week, you're not going to get any better, are you? Basically. Oh, not yeah. Ferdinand, Jesus. I, I yeah, know a bit I'm... more what he said with the Emerson yeah. that kind of thing, but like I don't want to, I don't want to say too much about that kind of thing. Like it's his reasoning and his decision, or like uh, whatever his decision. But like he's he's been he's been amazing with um with his with his, with his level of play lately and and being like fifty three games undefeated with Necro. It's, it's just pretty unbelievable. Insane. It's just insane. And then just you seeing uh, Wolfbox team name scheme here by the way uh I, i'm not sure i approve of this <laughs> this 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 could be the reason why it goes wrong if it goes wrong <laughs> naming naming the players yeah. after the uh england <laughs> football team greats has he got gerard and lampard on the same team because that that's a recipe oh my god Arthur. that's a good point he does. It is lampard he, he actually does yeah oh, oh no. no oh no all we need now is peter crouch on oh. the bench and we're screwed we we saw Jimmy doing this as well, right? And we know what hit, what, what happened in his game. Exactly, so, yeah. Like... He's, he's summoned the bad dice. <laughs> he's summoned the bad... Oh, no, he's got Gerard on the bench. He's not playing oh, Lampard and Gerard at the same time. Genius. 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 But he has, to, he has to field him now after that Kaz, so this is the only drive that could go well. Yeah, that's well, true. Hopefully Lampard gets Kaz, and then it's going to go much better for... Uh, <laughs> but... Thomas T only got two re-rolls in total, by the way. He's not used one yet. No idea. Uh, I don't. Think... I think he used one on a double skull in the first turn. Oh, like, he was. Okay. Yeah. I was. I was paying attention. So like, don't worry. <laughs> this is definitely more conservative than I think you would have been, Rick. To be fair, from Wolfpack. Yeah. I think that was always likely. <laughs> to, yeah. uh, to be the I haven't case. seen any fouls yet. <laughs> I'm is... not complaining. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'd hate to watch me. Wolfpack <laughs> is a more structured player in his uh, in his play style, so you'll you'll, you'll recognize more conservative patterns. Like you you have like this the structured play where, you know, they 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 just blitz you know indirect targets towards the ball. Like usually you have players that usually play towards ball and pressure, and they usually organize their players like that. And you you have the you have the coaches that take the, the off blitz, so the one that's you know isolated from the rest of the group, like we see here. And then they just reposition into a thing they're comfortable with, and that's what you see here uh, with the Elsky. I will so. say I'm glad we're not seeing the the, the normal Wolfbox strategy of waiting until the last five seconds and then moving <laughs> everyone. <laughs> that's uh, that's his normal blitz pit routine, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> This game is too dark, yeah. Sorry, apologies to anyone who's been watching Blood Bowl 3. If you just turn <laughs> your contrast right up and your brightness right up, you'll get right back into the Blood Bowl 3 experience. <laughs> Uh, they, they, they seem a little bit clumped up, uh, Andy Roo, but uh, you know, like there's, there's a lot of time. Um, yeah, I, I do feel there's enough time, and you know, seeing as Thomas he already hit an injury, maybe he can remove another one this turn. Don't have to take it like super fast. Um, although, like it's it's getting it's getting somewhere now. It's turn five, isn't it? Like, yeah, he's got a score. To... Yeah, I think he, the scoring is much more important than the removals right now. Yeah, you can't take it too slow now. He's got to he's got to fundamentally, you know. Move some, move some squares. Yeah. I wouldn't say he's, he's like he shouldn't, he should go like deep, but like I would say like yeah, you gotta, you gotta progress. Oh, he's yeah, no real he way doesn't of go deep, crazy, either. but he's got to try and have a plan of how he's gonna get forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, hence. 
it's an intense. It is, it is intense. But for us, for us, like it, it's it's weird because for us, it's probably like a whole different perspective. Like I'm just I'm just chilling here and I'm just watching this. Well, you know, uh, Team England might be a little bit nervous on the casters as well here for this one. Um, yeah, a little, a little bit. bit. Certainly later on, when it comes to crunch time in the drives, yeah, I think it's gonna gonna crank the emotion a, a little bit. D Dimmy yeah. might be fine. <laughs> you, no, no. If we get to a me? penalty shootout, Rick, I'm gonna be in bits because uh, <laughs> <laughs> the oh, line up and it's okay. <laughs> uh, I just I, yeah, would, I, I still not got over Euro 2020 yet. Uh, there's no Southgate, is there? Tell me, there's no Southgate. No, no, it's okay. <laughs> it, this is a normal match. It, it can be a draw. There's no there's no penalties. We're safe. <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, sorry, sorry, Chunder's <laughs> string, but Dr. Mo Bosco, the, it's not that I need the seventy-four pounds. Um, that is my. That is if anybody wants to force me to play a Blood Bowl three, <laughs> that's how much it's going to cost. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, because it's terrible, and I will only play it if people pay me a hundred dollars. So there you go. It's a bit of a catch twenty two, isn't it? Because if someone hates you so much that they uh, that they want you to play Blood Bowl three, uh, they want you to going to have seventy four pounds. Exactly. Gonna... Yeah, yeah. At least I'm getting something out of it. <laughs> if I've got to endure uh, that. <laughs> thank you for the for the raid, by the way. Show me magic. How was the stream? Uh, hope it was an enjoyable one. Um, we're, we're watching we're watching the CNA game here between Thomas C and, and Wolf Park. Two very um, very talented coaches, I would say. Um, yeah. The organized yes. play. Yes. <laughs> and it's good fun. It's good fun to watch. Um, I definitely was way more nervous when I was um, watching Tree's game because then it still like mattered in a way. Like, uh, and I know how nervous I was there because like the heart rate was just, you know, Rusi made it so close as well versus Tree, and well, vice versa as well. Tree made it very close versus Rusi in the end. So like. Um, that, that added another element. What was the it. score in that one? Tree versus Rizzi? 2-1. 2-1. Uh, to Tree? No. Yeah. Uh, no, so to, uh, to Rizzi. So. Uh. so like, um, and... Uh... Oh, it was Chors, wasn't it? It was Chors again. Yeah, yeah, sorry. I, did, I didn't... Oh, yeah. yeah, Tree's been pretty unlucky with, with matchups, sadly. Apparently, uh, they had a, a code breaker uh, in the uh, Dutch yeah. or the rest of Europe ranks. <laughs> they, they basically handpicked the matchups. So. Oh, it, it was. Has Chuck mentioned that before? I, I don't know. <laughs> there, there was a whistleblower in the England ranks. I think so. <laughs> yeah, it, it's called it's called opening up Discord and checking like round one, round two. That's the that's the big trick. Mm. Nothing else else than that. But you know, then again, like you know, like I think I think you guys will make it into playoffs. So this is gonna this is gonna be advantageous for you guys, if anything. Because, you know, probably can now just change up. Been you can watching keep it that uh, way, you know. It depends. Yeah. Been watching Benedict Cumberbatch films, Chunter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hmm. And I think you guys. I think you guys. Breaker. I think you guys will still make it. Like. Even if we win this Stop round. Stop saying that, Chana. Like, it's, you don't no, know, do you? You don't know. There's, there's, like, if I if I calculate things through, there's still a good chance because um, Russia and Germany are playing against each other in Group C, right? So, if if Russia loses, I think Russia has a really bad, like, win. Win? Mm -hmm. How do you say it? Win drop on right. streak. Right. And, um... Individual yeah. points total would be the uh... yeah individual oh. points total and 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 if Germany if Germany loses they are on two points so you guys are good there like it just depends on on Eastern Europe in that group like if they actually win from uh, against Latin America yeah then, then you guys might be in trouble Eastern mm. Europe who's who's part of Eastern Europe then is it, oh that's Stadelquist's team is it or no 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 it's Mankis and uh, and and um... how many European teams are there there's like Lots. Nordic <laughs> The rest of Europe, yeah, Eastern so, Europe, England, and Celts. So, so right. rest of Europe and Eastern Europe are are sort of some somewhere around the same regions, and sometimes actually exactly the same regions because else we couldn't form, form a team together. Like, um, okay, um, that you gotta imagine like Eastern Europe was like you know the Eastern Europe section, and the rest of Europe was uh, all the countries that weren't represented, and you know. I, oh, I, that's why I didn't get in. Oh, okay, right. Yeah. yeah. Now it makes sense. Yeah. 
community, just, exactly. I also would have invited you in a heartbeat, Timmy, you know. That. Yeah. <laughs> um, just, just to bring it back to this a sec, sorry guys, uh, we, we still haven't crossed the halfway line on, on turn yeah. six here. I think we're going to be looking at peeling off scoring threats. Yeah, but the back line, the back line is, is kind of, kind of, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you guys should uh, should react to the scoring threats in the back, but the back line is, is kind of dominated now by Thomas a little bit. Like yeah, he's got two, he's got two liners here and... Well, he can he can knock both over. He can he's got jump up there. He can, right, but so if he, he does that, it weakens the weakens the the screen, doesn't he? So it's he's. I give him the right flank. He's gonna he's gonna have to make sure. How many players can he get around the right flank? Yeah, maybe not. It's tricky though. It's tricky for uh, Thomas. It's not it's tr tricky fourth back. He'll probably think about it for a good minute and a half, well, and then you, move yeah, everybody do play, frantically. Do you play chicken for one more turn and hold the screen and and. Yeah, or maybe just, that's the that's the yeah. problem, isn't it? It's, maybe you do because then trust you can score in two, right? So yeah, maybe yeah. you just hold the maybe you just hold hold the line this turn. Yeah. Oh, are you going to get an opportunity to knock over both scoring threats oh, yeah. again? You know what they say, right? Like when you play chicken, it's always about who has the biggest cock. That's it. <laughs> so, like, well, I mean, I, yeah, I mean, hands down, that's uh, <laughs> that's a fact. So we're going to have to see. Elliot, Sorry, yeah. I just heard hands. <laughs> <laughs> Is it a horse-sized cock? That's what we need to know. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, this is going really too bad, right? Or is it just a hundred chickens? <laughs> <laughs> oh, another removal. Oh no, that was Wolfpack removal. Good. I mean, oh, unlucky, unlucky Europe. <laughs> KO could be clutch. Could be. Looks so like there's... you might do the full double screen and just say, "Look, you got to pass through my players." Yeah, he's yeah. playing chicken. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's the one. Sidesteppers on the sides. Four. I love it. I like this. I like this. Oh, yeah, I like this a lot. Yeah, I wish I was as good at Wolf Park. <laughs> yeah, so do I. Gonna <laughs> <laughs> wait until turn eight. Like, especially now that this is, you know, like you can't, you can't. Um... He might try and dodge a few guys through here. Yeah, yeah, I think he will. I think he'll go for the old three, three twos to get through. Oh, oh, look at dog. You're David thinks that would change everything. Well, at least the main been? intercept, at least the main interceptor is gone now. Like, yeah, the name of the player. Like, <laughs> do you have that's to? A, that's a goalie, right? Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. You might have to apple that, right? Because he's he's got ten, 10 men max. I'd I I'd apple it. Yeah, I'm yeah. surprised. Would you? Yeah. I and think the, I the would. next the thing is the next Kaz as well could could be a perm. And, uh, you know, yeah. Soup's really nice to have man number eleven be badly hurt, so you know you're getting it. But yeah, and it's, it's close to the second half. So yeah, yeah you know, second half it's a Kaz. It doesn't matter what it is. So yeah, I think. I think I, I like the apple there a lot. There is Maybe, much, yeah, much more valuable. Apple, yeah, but say the tackle mighty blow gets KO'd in the second half, then you can yep. apple that. Well, yeah, of course, yeah, but that's a big if, isn't it? And this has happened, that's the thing. I don't, yeah, I, I suspect it isn't as bad as we, you know, fear. I, I think it's probably pretty close. Yeah, small margins. Yeah. So now there's the problem, like you can spread out the whole field with the with the L scheme, because you're always going to have like one area where there's only one player. Have we not yeah. got? We've got like a four plus sack here with Wrestle, right? Yeah. I think you might have to go for it. Like this is this is like you know chunter timing. Like you have to go. Now. Oh, it's not. Do you reckon? I think we. I think you can just put like what four players on one, four players on the other, and knock down the knock down the third. If he, oh, if, he can manage, if he can manage to make it like a 4 plus dodge at least for one of those guys, even with the blitz, then I would agree with you, Jim. But like, it, you know, if, if it's you, anything you can, like a 3 you plus can 2 plus, it's going to be cage him. <laughs> You can knock down the middle one and cage the other two. Yeah, yeah maybe. Uh, yeah, maybe. I think... yeah that, I like that. I actually quite like that. I'd, I'd go for knocking down the blitzer, even though it's, you know, technically harder because he's, he's, he's got, got dodge. Block. Well, the dodge doesn't matter because he's got tackle, any. But the, the dodge doesn't matter. But it's if you hit the wrestler, he's got wrestle, so he'd go down. And obviously, the defenseless one would go down. But if, well, you, hit mean, the, like... if you hit the dodge, then uh, if you hit the blitzer one, then those two are like they don't have the side to go to, do they? You know, whereas that blitzer yeah. could go up the other side. 
completely. Whereas if those those two are both on like you know six squares away from the sideline, so it's kind of easy. I and mean, plus they're only movement six. So it feels oh, a bit what, weird. what I'm saying is to hit the dodge because he's got the inbuilt reroll to dodge through. To exactly. Score. Yeah. Yeah. So it's better yeah. for that as well. If if you're commit if you're not committing to the sec wrestle storm, I feel like you've got to be be very very sure that you know you, you can't you can't get through here. So like I I would would do this if I know for sure that you know the first touch is a four plus for my opponent. I think uh, Razzle, if you power it backwards, then uh, it on, on any of them, then that's enough, isn't it? You, you'd have to get you'd have to get the power back upfield. It's, it's scary. It's scary either way. You know, you could also feel like a one in line, of course. Like it's in return, it's also scary. But you know, like it's a gamble. I really like I really but, like blitzing the uh, blitzer. Well, it doesn't yeah, look yeah, like I he's would... doing it because he's put tackle on it. Yeah, he's definitely not doing it. Yeah. Mm. I would definitely blitz the blitzer because he's the one that you know gets through the easiest. Well, I thought it was easier to control the other two. That, that's why I would have done it. I wouldn't have cared that much about having dodge. I would have thought these two being near the sideline, it's easy to control these two. Fair, fair. Is he in range? Mm. No, not, not not now that he's powered. Him. Yeah. Ne neither would have been if they were powered. Okay. So if if you power if you power the bludger, he just can't score. So these two are over the side, you know. Whereas now. This guy can move laterally a bit more, can't he? You know, like this is basically super easy for the rest of the score right now. Just this is him into two of the twos, like it's crazy easy. This is all right. I think it's terrible. <laughs> I think this is really super easy for Thomas T to score. Yeah. Is it two plus two plus? Would you throw it to the end zone then? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And that's the thing, like, you, you, st you still leave these kind of thoughts on, right, Amy? So, like, you know, like, you, you, you're you not absolutely sure on getting it. Although, like, diving would have been questionable as well, wouldn't it? Like, if, if the oh, diving was kind of ball. pointless. Like, after I said it, I disregarded it, because the yeah, ball was just there, like... It's yeah, just... even if you're powering, he just doesn't care, he just picks mm. up with somebody else. 3-2, mm. 2-3-2, two, 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 is that what we're looking at? 2-2. Two, two. He just blisters him. 3 And the KO. It's actually, it's actually a two plus. One, two, three. Yeah, it's, it's actually. Two. If he gets a yeah. power, does he need a power? No, he just needs a push, doesn't he? Yeah, he just needs a push. Yeah, he just needs a push. So it's a two plus. <laughs> okay, KO so he gets the KO on one. him. Yeah. Yeah. I push it, so that's 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 the right decision now, I guess. Um... Two two. It is two two because he's he's movement six. So yeah, he's a two two. Oh my god, this is like watching uh, England Germany 96 all over again. <laughs> Except with Holland. <laughs> yeah, I just didn't like it because he had to spread too far, you know, like the fact he could go either way there. So, just to re clarify, um, England does need a win to draw this round against us. He's just burned um, two sixes. If we play the draw, we win the round. <laughs> and there's the first score for us. Um, we're gonna have Hold to see Park go crazy now, I think. I don't think I, it, with a draw it, that gets us to a lot of uh, that gets us to a lot of uh, playoff situations potentially. I think like if I if I call, if I remember correctly like I'm gonna see like I don't know if it Buf, or if Buf or got any instructions from Rick on, on this one but uh, I I I think you guys are like leading the individual point scheme anyway on the third places. Yeah, but we we could just there could just be people on four like we could just miss out. With a with a loss, no matter how big our points are, and there's yeah, situations okay. where there are situations where a draw is better for us than a loss. <laughs> so it just depends how realistic going for the win is, isn't it? There's no point losing. Yeah, Rick gave uh, Wolf Bark the strategy of going one 0 down at half time and then winning two one. That's that's <laughs> that's what the strategy was. I mean, there's I no there's, there's no way Wolf Bark can go for the win because he can't win. Like he cannot win this game, so no, no, he's, he's, he's got to play for the draw. Well, well, hold on, Jim. There's a one turner, and then he might win. He's not going to score the one turner. Oh, you have so little faith. Wow, it's dice, isn't there? It's it's not not it's not lack of faith in Wolfpack. It's just common sense. <laughs> I feel like it's a total lack in faith. <laughs> no, <laughs> leaving leaving the, leaving the gap here. Um, same formation as as Johnny kind of used against me, but then. No, uh, one the, the the players in the back line one square up and then uh, the zombies tie together. 
Uh, it's got to be the witch, isn't it? The witch has got to be one turner, movement seven with side step. Yeah, I think it is. But then you can't use the witch to do the last step. It'll be the blitzer with side step, will be the skull. Yeah, okay. the blitzer, blitzer actually, because you need the fancy of the witch, yeah. Exactly. <clears throat> Yeah, the KO stayed out, so one more roll at that. Yeah, <clears throat> does, doesn't really matter to him because he's got the reserve anyway, hasn't he? It's just a block line or so. He's not going to be too bothered about that. Maybe it's better just to go for the punches with Mighty Blow. <laughs> and a foul. Just go for the go for the Rick Equity move. <laughs> Rick Equity. Rick no, I definitely want to see the one turn here. I, <laughs> yeah. I remember a certain uh, Jim Dark Elf one turn that I, I learnt my movement seven one turns off, so I, I mm. want to see that repeat. Which oh, Jim was nice. that, Rick? <laughs> Wee. Wee. Yeah, it was on the PS4 as well. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't PS4, it was Xbox. No, I think it was PS4. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, it was PS4. It was on PS4, yeah, that's right. PS4 that's Pro. Good. That's me. Wow, more plover. Rubbing, rubbing in the wound there, more plover. I do know all about mighty blow hits, yeah, thanks. <laughs> do you guys, like, if, 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 you would, if you would lose this one, you would be at... 19 individual points if I remember because we win four no we win no you are, you would be at 20 individual points because we win three oh! Like, yeah, oh! oh that's big that's really big Jim is completely Jim is complete he's not gonna score the one turn because he's gonna score the two turn oh yeah it's coming off <laughs> it's coming off it could happen here it could happen <laughs> And this is the problem with the one turn defense is the it the riot like this that so much space down that left flank. It's looking pretty nice, isn't it? And he's yeah, he's tackled guys all the way over on the oh no, he's got a mighty blow on there. Yeah, he's got two tackles. He's still got the wrestle yeah, he's still got the re leap wrestle witch as well. I think she's in range of most of this. I gotta say, I feel like this this anti one turn strategy is also pretty decent against this kind of thing like a riot, because you know the the field where the players are going to is actually quite small, and whereas you, if you have everything on the back line, for example, um, they can actually choose where, they, where to go, right? They can actually just even center up if they want to, and then just take the left flank or the right flank. Yeah, you can screen it pretty easily, I guess, but it's still better than a one turn, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, like the defensive setup isn't even that bad for this kind of thing. Like it's. Uh, no, when when you're elves, it's not so bad. If it was like a, something other than elves. Then you can tag them up, and then it's pretty terrible, isn't it? Yeah. But with them being elves, you've got like a movement them. three mummy and a couple of movement four zombies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it's rough for the ball carry, isn't it? Such a deep kick. Through. There's one factor here as well though, like the, the, the biggest scoring threat is also Armor 7 here and that might actually hurt Wolfborg a little bit now in this situation. <laughs> <laughs> because that one is going to get threaded, like he's going to get hit so hard now without the, without the block and, the, and and you know, tackle being right there. Maybe, maybe not, he might, he might cage, oh no he's already blitzed, I was going to say he might cage the witch with light out, he might have like dodged, you know, through these double dodges oh, here. No. I'm, I'm referring to the runner here, like the runner is also there, which is, you know, the runner is not is the primary score, though, is it? And he doesn't care if the runner dies. <laughs> Leader? Yeah, who uh. cares? Who cares? Fair enough. Fair enough. Hello, Stor, baby. Hello, Dirty Rexor. Hello, Absolute Pinnacle. Hello, Corbin Lexer. Hello, Odont. Hello, Penamu. Hello, Skurum. I, I, I wouldn't blitz the witch, though, especially with the sidestep. Like it just feels really bad blitzing the witch. Yeah, I would, I would just take the. Yeah, she's sidestepping. She the, like he's got two sidesteps. I just that's why I think they're the primary scorers, right? Because they've got they've got yeah. they protect and they've got sidestep. So I think they're the they're the two primary scorers rather than the defenseless dude. Like I think if he 
you know, and chances are you don't get your guy removed the first time you sit with Mighty Blow, right? Unless, unless it's a werewolf or a flesh golem, you're probably not getting your guys removed the first time they're punched. <laughs> Talking from experience, eh? Yeah. Um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I am. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then you get revenge by pinging them at 1 a.m., so that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Great to see you in chat tree. And yeah, yeah r ridiculously uh, unlucky handoff, wasn't it? Into Scatter, sadly, for your, for your game. Great effort. Maybe not even the worst match, really, against Chorfs. I think that does get overstated. Oh, double yeah. skulls. <laughs> Done. It's all right. The lead is okay. But yeah, it's the last it's... Goal we needed, so like, all fine. I just got a position now. Don't. Uh, hopefully, we don't need GFIs. That would be a little bit sad in this situation. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't know about that being the last, the last reroll, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was just thinking about it. Like, that might actually not be the last. Oh, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can center here with the other, with the other side step, or just behind the wrestler. And then you can actually move the witch in, into this position on the right flank. That's what I would do. That's what he's doing. So like, yeah. Glorious. No, I won't give in. Until I'm victorious. Skill, right, I and I will defend. I will player, defend. The last player using GFIs. He's making Jesus the handoff play Christ. difficult, so he BBT might just see a longer never look so pass, good. which is obviously UNSK, a bit UNSK, risky. UNSK, yeah. UNSK, UNSK, UNSK for China. Who's the one doing the pass? The short hands. Yeah. What's oh, his like, name? Yeah, he's got a pass, hasn't he? He's got. I don't know, he could hand off and someone else could David Beckham. Pass. Oh, it's not David Beckham, no. <laughs> oh, God, gosh, yeah. Oh, if only. Gonna, if it, if, it's, if it was David Beckham, it's a guaranteed score. Yeah, Skulls there. Oh. Uh... Sharing him if it was to Shearer, but no, it looks like Shearer to, to Rooney. Oh, there oh, it is. Baby. Beautiful. There it is. Yeah, I'd love to see it. And there's the Tell chance. Tell me there's a chance. There's the chance that England will survive this. Oh, baby. And uh, Onania, thank you very much for staying fantastic for 50 glorious months. Oh, yeah. I don't think he could have avoided the GFI. So I think he needs to have someone on that right flank. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, the, uh, someone else will pass, won't they? One, two, three, four, five, six. It doesn't matter who passes there. He's six away. And then oh, he's not. He he... Oh, he's not. Oh, yeah. Go, oh, God. These people are here. Oh, this is horrible, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the, the, the thing is. The thing is, like, he was he was moving the double GFI with the witch, and then he wanted to bring the center lineman back behind the kicker. I was looking at the wrong like, That was what he was, was trying to do. It's a GFI it's a for a 3 plus, isn't it? One GFI for a 3 plus, I believe. It's not Yeah, Gazza, one GFI it? for a 3 plus. Yeah. The pass is just going to slip past him by an inch, isn't it? <laughs> so it's 2-3-2. It's two, two, two. Here we go, guys. And another 2. If only this oh. was Blood Bowl 3, so <laughs> that be, that you could reroll oh. the pass and virtually, the catch. Virtually in the bag if it was Blood Bowl 3. And the GFI. Yeah, yeah, you could reroll every single roll, uh, couldn't he? The, two, three, the two. biggest risk that would be that he couldn't see what he was doing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, if, if this was Blood Bowl 3, he would have accidentally used oh. all his rerolls by now. Although, <laughs> yeah, yeah. we're going to see a short pass. Yeah. Also one. Has to reroll it. Oh, it's double failed. Flip me. Oh. oh. Never lucky. Never lucky. He forgot to select pass action. <laughs> that is simply oh, yeah, not yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. A hater does no, not support your assertion. No, the problem is it's a 4 plus, right? Um, sorry, quick 4 plus, quick pass, and uh, something ridiculous like a 5 plus from there. Oh, God, yeah, that's but, true. Yeah, that would be that would be insanely <laughs> difficult in Blue Ball, <laughs> Blue Ball 3. Yeah, the pass would be horrendous. No, can't expect elves to pass, Jim. No, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't the runner have better passing, though? Yeah, it's only a 3, though. I think uh, the squirrel has better passing. <laughs> <laughs> Almost a really good ball carrier. In comes the squirrel. <laughs> Poor Elliot. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> it's great, it's great, the clip of in comes the squirrel. He's, he's so happy that his, <laughs> his ball carrier is coming in. <laughs> Bye now. <laughs> oh, why didn't he let me re-roll it? <laughs> oh man. Oh, I feel so it's bad, it. but it's not laughing at him, is it? It's just it was just a funny Oh situation. no, I'm definitely laughing at him. Right? <laughs> no, I'm not. I love it. Just to be clear. It was just funny. 
Elliot has laughed at me enough over the years. <laughs> so he, should, he should make a squirrel emote now, to be fair. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, well, this is a draw at best now. I, I don't think he can try for the win. I, I don't think he should try for the win. He, I, I'm, I I'm not sure I entirely agree, Jim, and I'm not sure that's what he was saying in, in the Discord, not to give too much away, but basically, the, the chances of the... I know there is some scenarios where the draw is better than the loss, of course, but I think they are so marginally small compared to the situations where the win is better than the draw that I think even with the odds being against it, you should probably... And I don't mind what he does, right? It's, and it's up to him, but I do think that you should probably push for the win here. Yeah, uh, as, uh, as I said, to, to, yeah. to, to divulge the secrets of the... Uh, England Discord. Um, if it had been a StarCraft tournament with millions of dollars for the prize money, then we'd probably work out the. <laughs> we'd work. We'd assess all the lines, assign each yeah. one an equity value, <laughs> and choose the highest one. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Wait, wait but, a minute. There, there isn't millions of dollars on the lines. Unfortunately, Why are we even not. This? And then, <laughs> and then, w Wolfbark realised that the prize is a Blood Bowl three key. So I was like, well, in that case, go for the loss. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Jimmy. Oh, God. Uh... <laughs> you could always give it away, right? Like, even the nicest guy, like Wolfbark, has an enemy. Yeah, but you don't, you don't <laughs> need any of the worst enemies. You don't, you, don't, you don't wish that kind of thing upon, you know? Yeah. I'm just... <laughs> yeah, there's a line. There's a line nobody should cross. <laughs> <laughs> um... But yeah, yeah, I, I agree with, with you, Rick. Like, you, you guys should actually go for the win. I think like there's too much of an you, you guys do have have too much of an advantage. So like you can, I don't think you can squander that in, in individual points. I don't think that's that's gonna happen. Maybe. Uh, block Lyman stayed out, which is uh, of marginal importance. Today is Monday which, or Tuesday, which is even marginal. <laughs> Sorry. Do you, know what, do you know what's funny as well in Artemis' chat? Um, the cyanide, the cyanide uh, Twitch account was getting rowdy, like uh, insulting me and Artemis and stuff and all this kind of thing. And then somebody said, you should get like a super nice streamer like uh, like Rick Reckless to, to do something. And then they said, everyone's toxic. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's so many toxic streamers. It's like, it was just so funny that it was in response to suggesting Rick. <laughs> oh, wow. Rick is the, is the most toxic streamer conference. I'm looking forward to Kinoa and Rick's yeah. opinion to, uh, and, and Crystal Hunters. Yeah. <laughs> I just, uh, this, I was, I, uh, you uh, know, cyanide, you know, like, I, you know, I, I, I do know. Like there's 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 two two sides of me thinking like at the moment because you know like I, I at the same time I do know like you know they they feel like um, like you know a bit how do you say um, they feel like they feel like they, they they will easily get insulted in this kind of situation when you know they're they're trying now for the second time to bring something out and try to appease an audience and you know the audience is not having it and at the same time I do know like the community sometimes can complain about a lot of stuff as well easily. So like I'm I'm a little bit in 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 the middle of the of the of the area there, but at the same time like you know like the problems are there. It's 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 that's the fact. Like the problems are currently in the game. And, you know like they've they've got to they've got to work harder to solve those oh, kind yes. of things. Like yeah, I was worried about the attack. Yeah. I, I I might have moved this line at the end and tagged the guard. Like even though it's a one in thirty six, or or like or like tag the wrestle for the one in six, like. I feel like tag like obviously the, the the bludge guard is so ridiculously good that although the one in thirty six is so ridiculously unlikely, I would really want to, you know, do you know what I mean? Like, I mean, maybe maybe to make it yeah. convincing, just just thinking along my thought pattern. Oh man, like maybe, Stevie maybe to send out a message to Cyanide, maybe you do need a, a Rick Reckless that's just stomping on everything completely and gets into like an angry steamer mode. <laughs> oh my god, could you imagine that? Rick loses his shit over the ball three. That'd be the funniest yeah, thing yeah. I'd ever seen in my life. <laughs> the flip bombs would fly. <laughs> yeah, just completely foul mouth. 18. <laughs> Rick after dark. <laughs> 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 it would be amazing. 
Uh, just quietly another Kaz. Get through all three skillless linemen, but that's down to nine players now for Wolfbark and no apothecary. Yeah, it's Not insignificant. It is quite some. And even like it does if look he's... like he's going for this. Yeah, if yeah, he's pushing for the win, those <clears throat> advantages work. It's going to work against him, right? Like the castes are going to work against him as soon as he pushes for that win, because you have like a less tough structured defense on the defense, of course. Now. Yeah. There's, there's no structure anymore. No more full screen. Oh. Pitch. It, it, it'll force rowdier plays, that's for sure. I think the real scare is that it exposes the good players. And if the Tackle Mighty Blow continues to, to kick ass, then, then that's really going to hurt. Yep. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Cheer, cheers, Raph. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll pay for that lesson. Rick, 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 Elephant's Foods for uh, Reckless uh, Calcium Cats in, <laughs> in the chat. We put in. Are we, <clears throat> are we hitting the witch score. attack and white blow? No, I hit this wrestler and then score. No, I guess, yeah, you could hit the you could hit the witch, but you'd have to pow or push. No, and there's a guard there already, so that's a bit Well, tricky, if you put your it? guard in. Yeah, but there's a guard there already, so. Is there that. Oh, that Lino's GFIs, is it? Yeah, the gun. On the left. Yeah, you'd have to GFI, and then you'd have to pat. You'd have to like get the push to to be it. You know, like they're both down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Doing the uh, thing. Yeah. It looks like he might be stalling this. He might be. I think if you're going for the win, though, you just score as soon as possible to give yourself a better chance to. Uh, you know, a better chance to turn him over, right? If that's the plan, to turn him over, and that's how you're going to mm. win, I think you might as well just give yourself an extra turn. Yeah. Ooh, I'm okay, now I think he might be scoring. Yeah, maybe if that had been a pow, maybe he does stall. Maybe. Because yeah. he, he would so have had, like, a full cage, wouldn't he? So, so... 3 plus, 2 plus, 2 plus, 2 plus? Uh, 3 plus, 2 plus, 2 plus with the one GFI. Like, I would, I would 3 plus this. I think no, just I to say, to Why people. would you free no. plus it? No, it's, it's too likely to fail. Because you, you're on a bigger chance to waste the GFI, and you're probably gonna need that reroll in the rest of the drive. Like three reroll, six turns, being very aggressive. Like you know, you're gonna blow through the reroll just like crazy. Like I, I, I would consider it. I, would I wouldn't play as aggressive good. as you on defense, though. <laughs> That's the thing, I guess. Yeah, maybe. I think he's going to have to play aggressively now, isn't he? Yeah, yeah that's, that's the thing. Like, he, he doesn't really have a choice. <laughs> Scores oh, maybe. Line. All three re-rolls. Oh, both lines would have worked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> even, even more importantly, no snake this time. That really would have been a disaster. Yep. Mm. Oh, it would have been so nice to get the score. And then it would have been 2-1. I don't know if you would have gone for it. Oh, the KO stays out. Ooh. Beautiful. So we have. I mean, um, it's just just a non-block instead of a block, but yeah, yeah. That's, uh, that is something. Yeah. It, I mean, you, you just got to hold on to what we got. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great document, isn't it, HTK? There's literally nothing in that document that's been improved. Compiled with loads of uh, loads of streamers. Oh, uh, you're talking it? about the. Uh, I, I left the BB3 Discord, so I don't even know what I don't even really want to know what the discussion is. To be fair, it's cyanides in my chat saying they're not here for Artemis and Jimmy drama. They're here to listen to complaints, but they they are all the complaints. They were delivered to them from Inarian, the guy who like saved Blood Bowl One, <laughs> Legendary Edition, wasn't it? And he How made did this Inarian amazing. Inarian saved Blood Bowl One. Yeah, he saved Blood Bowl One. He, he like he he came in and like you know helped a lot on Legendary Edition and that. Oh, what? He actually worked on Blood Bowl 1, yeah, did he? Yeah, he worked with Cyanide and that. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. He produced that excellent document after the first beta as well, didn't he? Yeah. Oh, and he did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember and that. And not one thing on it. Not one thing on it has been improved in eight months. But, you know, me and Artemis are just drama queens and toxic and stuff like this. So, yeah. <laughs> 
I'm not yeah, the happiest good. person in the world. I, I, as Skirrell said, nobody wanted this to be a success more than me. I think that's probably true in the entire yeah, world. I wanted this to nobody wanted to be as much as me. And it's I mean, I mean. I mean, they take you two as you know, as as, as toxic toxic figures, and you, you can think anything of what of, of that what you like. But the core thing is, like, there's a lot more people pointing it out than just you two. Right. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's not good. The current I played a couple of games, and it, the current state is not good. Like, it's yeah. just not a good game at the moment, and I don't know how much of it they can fix before they release it. Like if you, if you, if 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 cyanide if cyanide you know is here right now or is in, in Jimmy's channel or wherever he, they, they are and they look at this game and they look at how clear the models are on the pitch compared to you know what you see. In oh mate, if you play if you play Imperial Nobility, you have no idea who is who. <laughs> you have to put that, that is the absolute them. biggest yeah. key issue by far for me. So I'm glad that you mentioned it, Chanta. The clearness yeah. of the models on the pitch compared to what we're looking at right now is chalk and cheese. Yeah, yeah. it is. It is totally. And the skills are just not. Like, if you've got an ogre against an ogre, there's so much there that like, you can't see half the screen. It's like, or like you can't. You just there's a massive blob, and you're like, there's, there's a screenshot. There's a screenshot right there of of Blob 2 and Blob 3 in the Blob 3 Discord. Just comparing those two together. It was another. Yeah. It was another issue about the camera. Like I've talked about this before in the stream, and it just looked like night and day. It just. Uh, night I was going to do that, so I'm glad somebody has actually. Yeah. yeah. That's really good to yeah. to uh, yeah display that. So, yeah, that's, that's an issue. And the thing is, is like, I, one thing I've never done on Blood Bowl 2 is cycle between the skills. And like on Blood Bowl 3, I, have, I found myself switching them on, switching them off, switching them on, switching them off. So I was switching them on to see who had what, and then switching them off so I could see <laughs> what I was doing. Like, it's just, uh... And I've never done that before. Yeah. If they are here listening, though, I will just slightly... Matter, Cyanide, that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what the players look like. It doesn't matter if they've got fancy shoulder pads or not. That doesn't it is, matter. It is, it is how much how much you can see of them compared to what you see on the pitch. Like the pitch is more visible than the players. And you've got you've got you've got a ball that's in the middle of the pitch that's whiter, like it's brighter than the sun. <laughs> that's the issue. You cannot even see the players. <laughs> it's not going to help if they've if, if they've got a bigger knee pad. <laughs> you just can't see that there's a player there. I'm, I'm not. I'm not saying this. Like you know, I'm, I'm saying this with all due respect to Cyanide because you know, like I, I personally, from my experience on, onward, like I've been playing a cycling manager games. I've been playing Blubble Two. I've been playing like tons of like games. Like to manage like. Cycling manager, yeah, that's 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 the main <laughs> that's the main um, that's the main you know production like they, they make the yearly cycling manager games, um, which are you know relatively good games as well. They have their they have their they have their problems here and there, but they're they're relatively good games. And you know you gotta look you gotta take a look at you know I would say I would just advise this: just play play a game of Blubble Two, take a good look at the characters, play a game of Blubble Two, play a game of Blubble Three, and you'll see exactly what we're we're talking about. You'll see exactly what we're talking about because it's it's so clear seeing these players on the pitch. Yeah, like it's so distinguished. The pitch is so much bigger as well. Like like it, if it, like, I'm not saying this is shit on people, you know. Like yeah, I'm not saying this is shit on people. I want the game to be good. Everyone here wants the game to be good. I, 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 I'm going to go just against Jim on only one thing. So I agree on a lot, but I do think that they've made some good improvements, and I do want to say yeah. thanks for those since the last beta. Absolutely. It's looked, it's looked tons better to me today. It just still it has a lot of work yeah. to go. And that could be demoralizing to hear. And I, I am sorry if that's the case. Um, but but I, do, I do think it is worth acknowledging that it is, it is much, much better, in my opinion. And I, I appreciate that isn't everybody's opinion. But it is much, much better, in my opinion, than it was. Um, you played it yet, yeah, Rick? <laughs> uh, no, I must admit, but okay. I've, I've watched a lot of streams today. I am going to no, play no, it. No, no, no. Like, I, like my, my feeling was when I watched it, I thought it was all right. And then when I played it, like, there were some issues. So... Once, okay. I want to see you play it basically. Yeah. Um, because it's like it, for me, it looks okay. Like if you turn the brightness down, for me, I, I don't, I don't think it looks as good as Blood Bowl but, Two, but I think it looks good, like okay. But when you start playing it and you start accidentally re-rolling stuff and um, play, like clicks don't respond, like some things you have to click once, some things you have to click twice, and then it's just it's clunky to play. But if we don't acknowledge that there are improvements, like what, what are, are they supposed yeah, to yeah. think? You yeah, know? they are. 
Yeah, yeah. there are. 100%. And 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 you know, like I I don't want to I don't want to talk down on that in any other way. Like they're 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 working hard on on this kind of thing. It's just yeah. you know at the same time, you know you you gotta point out the elephant in the room because otherwise. Yeah. All right. I, I know we're putting a bit of weight. But, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm the elephant-footed one, apparently, so... <laughs> I want, I, like, more than anything else, I want this game to be successful because it's gonna help, you know, like, grow the community, it's gonna help grow interest in Blob, Blob Ball, and that's, that's yeah. what I need for, I wanna... It's I wanna supposed to be the game. thing that, like, blows, like, like, gets... more coaches, more people, like... Yeah. I, I, like, I like to be fair. Like genuinely, once I turned the brightness down, it like I, the the graphics were fine. So, they weren't good. But they were sorry. fine, but the, I, I, I didn't I didn't get anything from the graphics. I didn't get a headache. Flicky got one for like hours. Singolo couldn't stream because of the headache, despite you know str having thirty hour consecutive streams before. In yeah, yeah, too, yeah. He had to stop his he had to stop his stream. So you Is, know the today, issues sorry, are still Dan? there for other people. Today. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I will check it as well. I, I will check it as well. And as soon as I have no problems whatsoever and it turns out to be fine, I'll, I'll send you guys like a personal apology letter. Like I'll do that, no problem. But like, you know, like uh, you, you see the feedback again, and you see like, well, this is this is the case again. Like we've got to still work on this kind of thing. It's, it's the only thing that I, um, you know, I, I just want I just want this all to be worked out. It's the only thing. Mm -hmm. And I think Jimmy, like as as you know, as much as people have a certain in image about him and maybe about art as well you know like yeah. I don't always agree with art as well we know that like I, I say that publicly as well um, I think there's no intention to you know harm this game in any other way or, or yeah. that kind of thing they, they want this game to work it is their community as well like I, I think 99% of the community wants this game to work is this the turn, guys? Are we, I think we're gonna get a, get a rowdy wolf bark play. Yep, he's got to, hasn't yeah. he? Because this is yes, horrendous. Yeah. <laughs> did you do the wrestle witch? Did you do the wrestle witch through the tackle, or do you do the tackle mighty blow through the extra tackle zone? That's a good question. The wrestle witch can go into two, which is quite nice. Yeah, that is quite nice, isn't it? I guess that is what you do. So you go. So you use the reroll on the dodge then. Oh no! He can't. He can't get three into two. No, he can't. He can't get. He can't get one into two, can he? It's got. It's got sidestep. <laughs> oh god! Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh god! Yeah. yeah so I guess that you go with the mighty blow tackle. Maybe I don't know. I don't know. This is horrendous. He could have gone. Actually, he could have gone in with one tackle zone less with the with the tackle, couldn't he? But now he can't go that way. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I like, yeah. But is that a, like a GFIs on the dodge? Yeah, you could have done double GFI, 5 plus in for a 1D. Whereas now he's going to have to 6 plus in for a 1D. Or Frenzy trap himself with the witch, or like try and just not get Frenzy trapped with the witch. And then 5 plus of out reroll. It's rough, isn't it? Yeah, rough. <clears throat> gonna be a bit I didn't hear Rick go, Pops Dodge! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so used to hearing Rick go, Pops Dodge! <laughs> <laughs> Pops Dodge, the master of suspense there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, wow, conservative. Ah. Wow. wow, one in eight, oh, what's the key? Oh Wasn't doing anything with those dice, was he? <laughs> uh, that is painful. Oh. That is yeah. painful. Yeah. GG. Oh, oh. I hope Wolfbark's chat game is up because he, he he definitely needs to drop the GG. Right wing, it depends. It, it depends on what you mention as GG because oh, if Thomas T would score now, mine. there's there's odds for the draw, of course. But yeah, for the round, maybe it is. If Thomas T scores now, you drop the Grats. Like <laughs> that's that's what you do. Yeah, you, know, you go Grats because he scored early. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's the psychological warfare. <laughs> Indeed. Thanks, Diddle. Welcome, Diddle viewers, to this amazing match. You can also watch it on Chunter's channel. Um, because, you know, I didn't really understand what Chunter was saying to me yesterday. <laughs> so that's all fine. <laughs> that's all fine. Um, you can also watch this on Jimmy's Fantastic channel, by the way. Um, Blood Bowl Legend. Also, um, Storybook Pro Extraordinaire. So make sure to check him out. Easy. Easy. <laughs> He's, He's alright. He's above average. 
Oh, and a pretty, 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 pretty decent uh, wrestling caster. Sometimes I've heard so like. You know, he's like, never played it. He's, he's got thirteen hundred hours. He's never played it. Yeah, I'm, I'm terrible at the wrestling, but Rick's great on the wrestling commentary. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I had a, I had a good example from Skuro to try and follow. <laughs> yeah, it's, and, it's amazing, isn't it? And finally, like, been I've been blessed with glorious core commentators um, <laughs> to carry my yapping ass. <laughs> <laughs> the story, the story, the, the the story of Famir is probably the most intriguing one because you know he's he's he started, if I remember correctly, he started because you know Jimmy didn't have anyone to cast wrestling. No, with at some no, point. no, like Bakio Saka. <laughs> yeah, we can't miss a penalty now. It was like with, with oh, that like penalty was here. garbage. Oh, he's just gonna move the case there. Oh, yeah, wow. yeah, he doesn't need to score really, does he? <laughs> This is just another dicing, isn't it, for poor old team? Yeah, it kind of, you've kind of like, I mean, as much as I want to not mention it, it's yeah. Yeah, like it's 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 not disrespect. Like I yeah. remember Guinness got really pissed off when I said that he, you know, he diced somebody to win the World Cup, and it's like it just is what it is, you know. Like it's it's not that he played terrible or anything, and he only won because of the dice. But you can't look at this and see four Kaz and two versus KOs none, yeah. versus one KO and say that he hasn't diced him. Like Thomas D hasn't done anything wrong, has he? He's done all the right moves, all the right times. Great play to get the touchdown in that. Nearly Twelve stopped the, the equalizer, you know, from not just dice. But he's definitely had ridiculously better dice. Yeah, we, we didn't even talk about it in the first half, but there was a number of turns in a row that Wolf Park just couldn't roll the power on his blitzes and that uh, Thomas T was getting a removal pretty much every turn on the tackle mighty yeah. blow. And like you say, both players are making the right moves. It's not a criticism of any play. It's just the way it went. And uh, yeah, it just wasn't, wasn't Wolf Park's day. Yeah, look, more blowback. It, I said the same about Shawnee and and Chunter, You know, there was there was no way Chunter could win that game. It just wasn't it just wasn't possible. <laughs> that that was a dicing, wasn't he? He was just lucky that he had Skaven, so he could just he could draw anywhere. <laughs> Any other team, he loses. I had, right? I had, I had an escape button, like the rest yeah. of the. I mean, that's, uh, that's England that's... doesn't have an escape button, sadly, for that. Yeah. So. Now you now you mention it, it, it's not possible. Like if you think. Flicky Flack finds it impossible to enjoy Blood Bowl 2. Wait until he plays Blood Bowl 3. <laughs> <laughs> 5 plus 1 in 9 on the uh, on the Witch. We, yeah, we, we meme about it a lot, but we do we do want we do want uh, everything to be as good as it can can be. I, I wanted to talk about Famir, like the, the Famir is actually a story of his own, isn't it? Like Jimmy just asking some random person to join him <laughs> yeah. on wrestling because he was totally random and then people just started loving him for the way he was commentating, you know. God, yeah, it's so good one, it's so good. The yeah. the K Fog the K Fog intro. <laughs> one of the best Blood Bowl 2 players. <laughs> a game played by literally dozens of different people. <laughs> <laughs> it was amazing. <laughs> he just came out of nowhere and was like incredible. Yeah, beautiful. Jack makes an interesting point. I, I like. I really don't mean this as a slight on Blood Bowl three or anything, but but <laughs> we've learned to appreciate some things that we were just taking for granted in Blood Bowl two. Right? It is actually some things in Blood Bowl two were really well thought out and put together to make this game what it is. Yeah. Oh yeah. no, it's another Rick compliment. Oh, I'm getting. PTSD. Honestly, I, 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 I would, I would, if I was looking, if if I went in, if I didn't know the title of Blood Bowl Three, and had never played Blood Bowl Two, I'd think it was quite a good improvement over Blood Bowl One. There's a compliment. Yeah. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> no, the, the the thing, the thing that the thing that you know, uh, Jack Paul points out then. Um, I, I've, I've said this in my stream before. Like, I, it shows how much we do appreciate Blood Bowl 2 and, and what it is, um, in a way. But um, yeah, there's, there's also there's, there's a lot of good features in there. And I, I like I said, I do hope um, generally, like they, they take these some of these over. This could be super helpful. Like it feels like it feels like in some way, and, and, and again, not to shit on Blood Bowl 3, but it feels like some in some way they were trying to reinvent the wheel. If you know what I mean. <laughs> Sometimes you have to go with your strength. Um, Why would anyone reinvent a wheel? That's a good question. That's what they ask about uh, at EA Sports when they make FIFA. You know, like why would we reinvent? Well, because the they strength? get money. Like that's easy. You know, why wouldn't you? <laughs> you'd have to be. You'd have to be crazy. You can milk your user base for an updated roster, and and yeah. the new season of uh, of Ultimate Team. Like they'd be insane not to. And, well, that's, and, my, that's my that's my point. And they're not reinventing the wheel. They're, they're they're continuing on mostly the same, and then build on that. They build on that, and just improve from there. 
like they, they, they're not they're not overhauling everything completely uh, no they, they copy paste it you know what was hilarious was in like madden 20 or something it still had madden like 17 in the stands <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, the the reinventing the wheel, yeah, the the it's the the thing that bugs me the most. Well, okay, it's not strictly true, but what I find the most perplexing is changing oh, the color my. coding oh. when oh. skills are already categorized. You know, oh. that just <laughs> blows my mind. Yeah. That you would feel the need to do that. Casual, casual removal here by Booth Park. Uh, yeah, casual. Of himself. Dicing. <laughs> Absolute dicing. This is what happens when you name players after the England team, though. Like, it's, it's a really bad strategy. It is, yeah. I was, I was punished for this strategy. Hopefully, in the playoffs, things will be better if we get there. You should have is done, that... like, a genius yeah, strategy and named them all after, like, the German... Team. <laughs> yeah, that would be much better. Wouldn't it? The 1970s Brazil team. That's what we should have done. <laughs> Pele. <laughs> yeah. Eusebio. Mind, having said that, uh, Artemis played like Mario Zag Zagallo the other day in Blood Bowl 2 and he absolutely he absolutely spanked him. So. <laughs> oh, is he one from the um, the Brazil winning? He's he's won four World Cups, I think, or maybe he's five World Cups as like a player oh or manager. My God. And he's and now he's a coach on Blood Bowl too. He's ninety, so you know maybe maybe he's he's you know he forgets things now. Yeah. <laughs> he he, for, he forgot to leap. He forgot how to leap. He had managed five war dancer and forgot how to leap. <laughs> oh, I saw that. Yeah. yeah. That. He literally uh, he literally leaped with an edge three dancer and then didn't leap with the edge five dancer. <laughs> Uh, Cabal Vision Nation All Stars Kangxiong. Yeah. That's the the name of the competition here. Yeah, that's why you're not in it, Kaz. Oof. Hey, Benson. Well. <laughs> Sorry, mate. That was really hard. Oh, I am joking. Please don't hurt me. Please <laughs> <laughs> don't hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you're too old to me. You're safe, mate. <laughs> we, could have, we could have had a team scene out in the in the CNA. That would have been fun. Like regionally, team scene out. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Don't don't hurt me either, mate. That was so good. Wasn't it? Just please, please, please don't hurt me, guys. <laughs> the entire commentary box. <laughs> <laughs> I am a black belt in origami, so you know. <laughs> it's pretty impressive. Oh dear. Blue Jerry, yeah, more blue, but yeah, blue. Like you know, the skills are already kind of like it just seems. I just don't understand how you would get to the point where you think you needed to recategorize them after they're already categorized. Even though like the skills being categorized by type doesn't make that much difference, right? Especially during a game, you know, the fact that strength skills are red and general skills are like blue. It doesn't really matter, right? It does. It doesn't really matter, and you would get used to anything. I just don't understand the thought process of changing it. You know. Or like we're well, creating your own categories for like no real reason. I, I I like it's the first time in my life I genuinely hope I can use Dio's icons in a Blood Bowl game. It's, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Like I I, I really was hope. That today. Yeah, <laughs> I really <laughs> hope I can just have B G T and D like even the crazy <laughs> frenzy one, which is like Z or something. I don't, I don't know even what the frenzy one is, but yeah, it's that I think. Yeah, I just I I just literally want just those icons. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't. I don't like the uh, the art direction of the uh, Blood Bowl three icons for sure. But even then, oh, even then, like it's just, it's just really weird. The colors, the colors are just so weird. And yeah, nonsensical. like Dodge. Dodge looks like a road traffic sign that you like. You <laughs> beware of windy roads or something. We were a one away, guys. We were a one away. Oh. Maybe again there, actually, to be fair, oh, yeah. yeah. 
Oh, oh. Dodge. <laughs> Pops Dodge! Pops <laughs> Dodge! We've got the dodge in for the 1D here though, right? This is this is kind of crazy easy. Well, yeah, but there's also tackle on the side, right? Or are you... Are you yeah, but it's a 4 it? plus. I don't care. That's like, that's incredible. Yeah. Yeah, this is this is pretty tasty. Yeah, mm. this is a two plus four plus one D, right? Yeah, this is this is better than I would have ever thought. Well, it's like three plus two plus with dodges oh, and cancel the yeah. assist. So you got a three Need plus two plus three. a bit of a miracle, three. Scar, but you never know. Yeah. I guess I guess I guess it could have all moved, or not all, but like a good part of it could have moved one square to the right if we wanted to be a little bit yeah. more safe. Yeah, I think that would have been a bit safer. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't think they're that bad, Bella Dog. Like, I'm really not ridiculously down on it for no reason. Like, I'm just disappointed. Yeah, That's all it is. <laughs> Have you played it? That's the question I ask everyone. Have yeah. you played it? Yeah. And if I the answer is no, time. then it's... Uh, it's we, we're uh, going to gonna have to pick it up and play it, of course. And yeah, it's like, just, and again. like, you need to play it to realise how... Like, watching it, it's not too bad. Like, I was watching Elliot's thing, and then when I tried to actually play it, I was like, oh my god, this is really difficult. Yeah. And if I'm if I'm wrong, and if, you know, like, if I'm wrong, if, if I play it and I, I'm having a great time and I'm, I'm enjoying everything about it and it's fantastic, I will be the biggest supporter ever and I will say to everyone, like, just get that game. And yes, yeah, of course, of course, it. yeah, I would love like, it. Like, when the video that. comes out, you should be, like, yeah. so hyped that you don't want to play BB2, do you know what I mean? But, like, mm. after you play it, you're like, I kind of just want to play BB2 yeah. now and try and qualify for Chalice. Like, yeah. you're like you, you play a game and you're like, all right, I'm done now, I want to go back to BB2. Oh. Come on, man. Diced. Yeah. And there was the four. Uh, yeah. no, 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 no. Tyson. Four wolf. And that, that is the win gone because there's no scoring threat. So, uh. Yeah. Yeah, silly wolf bark not putting a scoring threat in. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> Kanor's cast of this has just got so toxic right now. A wolf box play. <laughs> yeah. I mean, of He's course, done great, like, really unlucky. humans are like time. pretty adaptable, right? Of course, we we would get used to anything. Like it's, it, it's you can't. Yeah, exactly. It, like literally, exactly. Humans are going to get used to anything. It's no argument to say, oh, you'd get used to it. Yeah, but that's totally no excuse for having a crappy, unintuitive, you know, mm -hmm. UI that people that a lot of people won't get used to. You know, Artemis, there, a guy who's got five thousand hours in Blood Bowl two. He, you know, sixty-one minute game average, sixty-one minute t game average. That's pretty. That's pretty quick, right? And he was got, he was well into the bonus time, and he played it for he played it for seven or eight hours till he got a decent handle on it. And you play have a new player, they're just gonna go, oh well, I'm gonna give up before two hours and get my steam refund, right? Yeah, I would. Yeah. yeah. And who's the smarter person, right? Exactly. I'll all find me. Especially when you know, considering like, on on the on the. Older are, are, um, on the older audience, like you have the older and younger audience of Blood Bowl, right? Like the older and younger users for Blood Bowl, like um, the older the older users just definitely need like you know a good a good friendly system, if I if I want to say. So I don't want to be insulted to anyone there. But at the same time, I'm like really the younger audience, no, the younger <laughs> audience, <laughs> sorry, the younger audience needs like a game, you know, that's you know, that's also working in a fleshy and good way because you know the competitiveness of the other games that are you know, uh, interface friendly is there, and the younger audience won't, won't necessarily stick by Blood Bowl because it's Blood Bowl, and they will be like, well, I'm just going to play something else. Exactly. You know, I'm going to play a different game. I'm just gonna if you give it. yourself 10,000 years to get used to it, though, you'll actually evolve, so it's the perfect user interface for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> It took me, I had to go into Zakara's stream and say, how do you find a game? Because I couldn't figure it out. <laughs> was, uh, that that uh, will change. I'm, I'm pretty, see, that's the, the, this is the thing, right? I wasn't that down on the first yeah. one because there were things that, because they had, you know, those YouTube videos on how to play. And you could tell that the actual final version wasn't like the version we were playing. And it actually was much more intuitive to get a game. And there was like, you know, online leagues and everything. And it all worked much better, like in the full version. So like... 
I really wasn't that down on it before. What I'm down on is that just nothing's been improved. And so people that are saying there's been loads of improvements, like I took it for granted that it would be less laggy, right? It was brutally, insanely laggy. That isn't why I was hating it. I just thought, well, that'll get fixed, right? Loads of things I thought, well, that'll get fixed because, you know, it'll kind of have to be. So I was taking for granted loads of things that would be fixed. And I still thought it was terrible. And I still, you know what I mean? So I that's why I had so little hope right from the start, because I thought, They'll fix all of these kind of, um, you know, what's the word, superficial things. I, I, I just expected all of those to get fixed. And that's what's been fixed in eight months. And it's the, all of the big underlying problems have not been addressed and won't be. So, yeah, I'm pretty down on it <laughs> right now. Here we go. Five plus, wrestle sack, scatter catch, fail catch by the witch into the crowd. Throws it up to the mighty blow tackle. He runs off down the pitch. We get the draw. Like yeah, there's a chance of the draw. There is a chance of the draw. It's a six plus, I think. Wait, this is it? set up. No, yeah. the way he goes through the guard, doesn't he? Through the guard. Three on the, on the, on the left side. Five plus. With the witch. It's a five four. plus. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two. No, he can't do that. Yeah, oh, you can. Oh, is there a guy right there? Okay. Yeah, it's it's pretty hard, Dimmy. <laughs> it's pretty hard. Six, six plus. Um, Sometimes sixes happen. Thank you very much for the subscription, Cube Farm. Cube Farmer, 15 months. Oh, Dodge, there's the six. Oh. Thanks for staying with the Rat Pack, Cube Farmer. Truly appreciate it. Did he that's stack cool. it all up? And that's the oh. six. Oh, oh, oh no! Oh. Into the he third side stepped in. in. GG. God damn, Bloodbo. That always gives you hope, doesn't it? Always gives you hope. At least that's ripping off the plaster. Oh, man. Well, to them, I'm sure they haven't. I'm sure they haven't because it's quite easy. All you have to do is uh, is check out this document. And uh, nothing in that's that the has end changed. Of, that's the end of the game with Thomas T winning. Congratulations to Thomas T. Commiserations to um, to Wolf Park. Yeah, and, and uh, Team England. We might be out now. We've just got to wait to see how the other how the other matches. Finish. It's gonna be exciting to watch that. Make sure to watch the other games, guys. Like, um, I'm, I think England has a good chance. Personally, I think England has a good chance, but you know, it's it's not it's not 100% chance. Um, and it's gonna be exciting to watch. Hey, Wolf, great! No, don't be sorry. Great effort, man. Sorry, you got thrown in the deep end, and still, just great effort, but terrible dice. You know, not that Thomas T did anything wrong either, but so it was yeah. a good game. But yeah, you there was just nothing gonna work for you there, mate. Great, great try. Thank you. Thanks, Isn't this uh, the uh, point where we start asking for the England manager to be sacked? I think we need to sack the England manager just quietly. <laughs> I I take full responsibility. <laughs> nah, like the, 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 thanks thanks for the game, uh, Team England, and uh, you know like I, I I personally expect or think that you guys will go through to the next round. So um, I, I I hope you guys will win it all in the end because you know like. You, you guys also are like five of my favorite people in the community um and you know like i i wish you guys the best in the in the, in the playoffs if uh, uh, thanks thanks so much mate and uh, I, i'm i'm sorry you guys didn't make it through the group we might be joining you in that obviously but a uh, great way for you to to end deservedly because you, you're a wonderful team you look at the team on paper you're amazingly strong and it's so unfortunate the first two rounds didn't go your way but a very very deserved uh you know hold your heads up high and uh go out on a win thank you thank you yeah cheers cheers Chunt. it's been awesome you made the round really fun as well uh Chunter, with all the all the co-casting that was a, some really nice crossover really good spirit, yeah which i think is what the cna was for right yeah i tried i tried my 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 my, my best especially in the second round i believe with, uh, with spain like i tried my best to just get as, as many as many variety variety people as possible so like just just get as many like uh, you know like the one time I had purple chest in and the other time I had someone from Spain coming in and then someone from Russia and just try to make sure that you know everyone could be heard at least uh, at, at least once in the in the stream and um, that you know people people can actually check out their games as well just to hype it up a little bit but also you know be a bit of a force for the community good stuff so. Um, yeah, I appreciate you guys just uh, joining in uh, as well, and, and just you know, doing the stream together or the, doing doing the cast together. That was awesome. Yeah. 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 Well done. Well done, mate. Well done.
Um, if if you guys if you guys if you guys would need me for another CNA thing or or that kind of thing, I uh, I have no problem jumping in. But you know, it's all that I always say. Like, uh, let me know. Um, right. So uh, congratulations again, Thomas. I don't know if he's in the in the in the stream right now listening, but well done. Excellent jump. I think you played very solidly. Like, of course, like you did have Bastion pretty hard as well. <laughs> but um, you know, I always say like you know. Having that winning situation doesn't always lead to the win, and you gotta you gotta play solidly to end up winning the game as well. And, uh, yeah, you've done that nicely. Yeah, so. and uh, so there you go. Actually, I'll wrap it up now for my YouTubes. And um, thank you very much, Crystal Hunter, Dimmy G, and Rick Reckless for the core commentary. Absolutely glorious uh, for you guys to come on, and of course, yeah, uh, yeah. Congrats to Team Europe and. Hopefully, uh, Team England will get through. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.